100. Yeah. 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 Y
you know, you know, even though you don't have to really compete for stage time, it's one of those things where it's just so many people that you yeah. just mm -hmm. you don't want to hear nobody else's material. You yeah. don't want nobody to hear yours. I don't want. <laughs> yes, it's the, know, it's the same way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got a lot of conversation. We'll yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. Mm -hmm. How has your writing process evolved over the years? Do you do you get more out on stage now compared to pen to paper? I still do it like uh, you know. I've been like everybody now. You almost write everything on the phone, mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying. So. I, but I do that pretty much uh, on a daily basis. Like, what any, I usually try to make sure I write something down <coughs> that I thought of that was funny every day. Like mm -hmm. I just put it, put it in a file, and then I'll like expand upon it. And usually, like I travel with uh, like uh, like a bunch of young comics. A lot of times, I like that energy. Like this, yeah, like yeah. even coming in here before we came on air, mm -hmm. like this, I love that stuff. Like no, y'all no. funny. No. We sit up and it just starts to bubble. Appreciate that. Yeah. 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 We're gonna run that shit in the loop. We're yeah. funny. Yeah. That's, 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 that's another that's drop. That's a drop. <laughs> drop that shit. Don't run that. That's the drop. Son. <laughs> Like that, oh, man. <laughs> yeah. But that's the that's, that's true. That's true. But uh, but I like that because right. it, you know it opens you up because you know you know people like y'all know each other so I've got to get in you know y'all mm -hmm. doing jokes on each other but the fact that I can just jump in and right, that right. makes it that makes you you know you start your your wheels again you don't get to do that much you know so uh, but that's that's the process for writing. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Listen to the real shit because you know you left your uh, old lady outside like a real player. Um, yeah. So talk, yeah, talk yeah, in the car. <laughs> <laughs> this is grown folk men. <laughs> Stay in the car. Stay in the car. So, so what was some? Uh, I guess because uh, I know you've been on uh, hundreds of different types of tours and have been in probably every city, every country. What was some of uh, like? Do you have any like stories or something that happened on tour that you could uh, you can talk about? Oh man, <laughs> yeah, we, man, we do this thing with, with our boys. Whenever you find something you can't really talk about, you got to do Birdman hands. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it don't have to be the juice. It can be just anything, anything interesting. <laughs> right, no anything interesting. No, probably, you know, probably one of the uh, one of the great stories I like to tell though is when we was doing Kings of Comedy. Bernie Mac was one of those kind of cats that, uh, like, when we first did the first tour, I used to go on stage first. So I would go on, I would do my show, and it was an intermission. Okay. So. Um, you know, everybody would come in. I had this, you know, I was young, I wasn't married, I would have all the girls, I'd go get all the stars, Ooh. everybody be back in my dressing room drinking. Steve didn't drink, Bernie drank beer only. Right. So, you know, I did it all. Yeah. I was like, you <laughs> oh, know, no. I was like you know, like, you know, you know I'm Sammy, you know. <laughs> We can doing it up in my room, you know. What I'm so we gambling, you know, it's going on. So we have everybody in there. So Bernie comes out stage one night and does a whole nother show in my dressing room. It was just wow. It was just awesome. Like, you know, wow. like, so it was just like one of these things where it was like, you know, he, they saw him out there on the stage and he came in, he did like another twenty minute set in wow. the dressing room, rocked it, wow. walked out, everybody was like, oh. like, that's how I do it. <laughs> Of course, just took the credit, right? Right. right. That's what I do. No, no. That's what I do. That is hilarious. So, so speaking of Bernie, like, who are I know you say I heard you say before he's one of your favorite comedians. Who are some of your other uh, favorite comedians? Man, you know, uh, I'm a big fan, like uh, Chris Rock. I like you know his okay. writing style. Yeah. You know, fearless on stage. Uh, you know, um, you know, all my guys, Steve, DL. I mm -hmm. love all them cats on stage. Of course. Uh, you know. Um, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm I'm just a big fan of comedy. I like to laugh, man. So I love JJ. That's one yeah. why he traveled mm -hmm. with me so long. Just super funny to me on stage. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, it's a lot of little cats. Malik cats again, mm -hmm. funny like that. Love Ken. <laughs> um, uh, so you know, it's just yeah. I'm just a big fan of comedy. How did, like, how did everybody that, how, get it with me? Okay, my bad. I mean, to cut you off. How, how did that even uh, uh, come about with uh, JJ getting on tour with your where Classic you story. Him? Classic story, it was like years ago, I was in Birmingham, like when I was coming up, you know, like most comedians, you know your job is to go up there, you want to be funny, but then you actually want to wreck the stage, like, right. it's this, it's this, it's a really interesting thing in comedy that it's a fraternity, mm -hmm. where it's like, usually a lot of love, and it's not a lot of like, hate on rivalry, but it is a definitely a competition, competition sure. like it's definitely this thing of who killed it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so, they long. <laughs> so I, like that used to be my, that was my thing when I first started traveling on the road, like I didn't care who was the, 
who's the headliner? My job was to go out and destroy. So right. I had that attitude. Like, that was it. And so JJ did that to me one night. That was the first yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Birmingham, Alabama. I'm used to being a man. I'm in the yeah. back. You know, I got my crew with me. I'm a sudar. I'm sensei. You know? I'm sensei. Look at that hat. Look at that hat. Look at that hat. I'm going to be out there kicking. Look at that All of a sudden, I hear, Crowd going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I've been house last. Right. We in yeah. a big arena. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Walk oh. out. <laughs> <laughs> see the dude. <laughs> see the dude. <laughs> yeah, see the buddy. Call my manager. Who, 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 who? <laughs> He's still getting a little nervous. You don't know. You know right. Right. Yeah. How long he been on? <laughs> comic questions. These, how long been oh, on? these are comic questions. You just try to speak out how you get your set together. Huh? <laughs> yeah. How much, how, much, how, much, how much time you gonna do? <laughs> how much time yeah. you gonna do? You heard this dude before? <laughs> Hilarious. Hey, man, so you know, I went up there and I, you know, I had to struggle for about you know five, yeah. ten minutes to gain it. So I was like, anybody that can make me work that hard is somebody I want to have with me on a regular nice. basis. So wow. Anybody that go out and do that means mm -hmm. that I gotta be ready to go. Yeah. I can't sit back and be thinking, oh, I'm that dude, you know. So keep your toes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's been years. That's what. That's how I've been my main guy for this. Yeah. Years. For sure. For sure. As a yeah. fan of comedy and like how you've risen through the ranks, you know, earning your keep. How do you feel about some of these? guys coming up through YouTube who kind of blow up off just like a viral video and now they're getting all this fame not really earning it yeah they get, well they get fame and money which is interesting you know I mean I yeah. think that you know you gotta you gotta count it all as an you know as an involvement of the world really you know it's one of those kind of things where you can't really you know because we I think that's that's what people felt about our generation like when we came up it used to be all about the white comedy clubs you had to go work you had to be a, a opening act mm -hmm. then you become a middle and then you become a headliner and that's when you get money right mm -hmm. then Def comedy jam came on and all the black comedians became stars mm -hmm. we was going around getting paper we didn't have to do the system no more at all yeah, so yeah. people was looking at us like how y'all be how y'all famous already you know mm -hmm. so <laughs> So, you know, to a degree, I look at that space the same way. Like, it's one of those things, like, I don't I don't necessarily, I don't like when people think that it's equal to. Okay. Like, it's fine that you hide on YouTube, but don't think you equal to. Like, yeah. that's, that's a different game, dog. You cannot go out and do that arena right there. No. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might be funny, like, you know, people watch you and download and click. Yeah. But to go and perform for, you know, 7,000 people live. Yeah. yeah. Watch your shit, watch your toes. Right. Yeah. Right. Watch your toes. Watch your toes. Right. Watch your toes. Right. That's a different beast right there. Yeah. 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 Like, you need to be, you need to be in the gym, like yeah. you're talking about. You exactly. need to be working out yeah. to be ready for that kind of action. But that, yeah. that's been happening, too, to a lot of the, a lot of the uh, like you said, famous, internet famous guys. They're going and they're getting these books for these shows because they have that following. Right. And then they go out there when it's just them and the microphone. And they're like, oh, Ooh. damn, that ain't hey. Yeah. <laughs> Hold yeah. on, go right. pull, right. back, pull YouTube back up. <laughs> Yeah, right. Well, I'm uh, yeah, yeah, that's tough. Yeah. Yeah, what y'all think about it? That's one thing because it's more like from your generation. Right, right. right. What, what um, I was I'm trying to look at it um, as an opportunity to say, okay, I feel like I'm funny, and if I can get my stage stuff uh, to to equal how they're doing with their internet stuff, it'll it'll be more helpful. So I don't look at it in a bad right, way. Right, gotcha. At all. Yeah, yeah. I, I look at it like like how rappers should have looked at when Soldier Boy did it to the exactly. with the internet. Like Soldier Boy wasn't a good rapper, but he was a damn good marketer right. of himself. So right. these guys may not be great comedians, but they damn sure good at marketing themselves and, and, and I'm not as good as they are, you know what I'm exactly. saying? Maybe better on stage than them, but at the same time, right. like, I see that as a desire. Yeah, like, I had to get used to all the whole lingo. You know, that's the thing you tell. You come from a generation where you like, follow me on Twitter. Like, yeah. Don't follow me. Hey, dog, I'm following you. Hey, dog. Hey, dog. Hey, Straight up, follow me. No, on Twitter. I'm following you. Oh, okay. You said follow me. I poked you. Don't no. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't right. How many likes? How many likes? <laughs>
That's not really real gangster, man. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Right. Yeah. Sammy, we're going to take a break, but when we come back, we have a dime of the week. We have oh, ladies yeah. from all over the South that send in their pictures. Hot ladies. Oh, but because you guys are comedians, we want you to be totally honest. Mm. You know, mm. what you do normally. So we're going to take a break. We'll be back. Shut yeah, the funny up. The funny. <laughs> oh, man. We are back. STFU. Yeah. Hey. Radio. Back with the King Cedric. The it's interview. The it's the King, the King bitch. <laughs> I was trying to say it, man. Uh, yeah. He dropped it to me fast. It was like, yeah, Jay, say shut up. You don't even know. That's sunny. That is sunny like, for you. What? That, yeah. what? 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 Hold on. <laughs> The phone line's actually been buzzing. I ain't even able to answer, man, because we was getting such great answers. Let me go to it right now. B100 Radio, shut the funny up. You're live on the air. Hello. Did I do something wrong? <laughs> it's a telephone? Yeah, it is. It's real loud. You did somebody like, I'm supposed oh. to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, sir. <laughs> you gotta say something. I called in, I texted my phone. <laughs> <laughs> it was working. We tested it out, but okay. It was a private number, so somebody was gonna mess with us. All right, I'm gonna, we're gonna, I know you got to get out of here. We're gonna go through, a few, uh, go into a couple things first. Um, have you heard of the LaughingBarrel.com? Yes, I okay. have. I don't know exactly what it is. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, they, you know, they uh, moniker themselves the Black Comedy Central. Um, it's a, a, a this is basically a site about black comedians, all things black comedians, and it has about you know up and comers and people that have been out for a while, you know. All their stuff, sketches, the people that we were talking about. And they did a top 10 hottest comedians list for 2014 okay. coming up. And I wanted to uh, just run some of the people um, down on the list to you see, okay. and get your opinion of it. Number 10, Corey Holcomb. Okay. All right, coming in, number 10, Corey Holcomb. <laughs> number 9, Nick Cannon. All right. Okay, all right. Number 8, out of the shy, Dion Cole. Okay. All right. Number 7, and also out of the shy, Lil Rail. Lil Rail. Okay. All right. Number 6, Bill Bellamy. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you put a camera on him. Number five. <laughs> number five out of the shot again, Hannibal Burris. Okay. Uh huh. Number four, another one from the shot, D. Ray Davis. D. Ray. Okay. Uh, number three, your boy, Mike Epps. Epps. Okay. Number two, uh, Marlon Wayans. Okay. All right. And number one, Kevin Hart. All right. Okay. So, uh, any any initial thoughts just from the, the rundown of that list? No, I mean, I think that, you know, and that, that list is based off social media, internet, projects, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that it, it, it falls into a, a category. Most of the, I think you said it right. Most of that, most of that seems like it's all about what, how much are you like Kevin Hart? And if mm -hmm. you like Kevin Hart in any kind of way, right. then this is what we base in comedy off of. I was doing this whole joke about that, like, you know, because, you know, he, I was doing this whole thing in Vegas before I did Atlanta. And it was yeah. like, you know, the press conference and everybody want to know about Kevin Hart. And I just like, ask me about Kevin Hart one more time. <laughs> <laughs> It's not the litmus for comedy. Right, 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 right. Like, you know, so <laughs> but but you know, I think that this is, you know, again, this is where the, you know the world is right there. I know Marlon doing some great stuff, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Cause he's right. he's got like a little website like mm -hmm. he's doing too right now mm -hmm. where they're doing a lot of sketches, putting it up. You know, we did Haunted House too that's coming out. So I like that on there. No doubt. Uh Dion definitely been growing. Mm -hmm. Uh D Ray always been hot in, in, in the clubs. You know, Chicago really got a lot of great comedy. Yeah. I, I like yeah. all those guys, like Lil Rail and Hannibal, Corey, uh, Corey uh, mm -hmm. yeah. So all those guys, and Nick Cannon is just a beast, man. Like, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a weird, it's a weird thing because you wouldn't necessarily. I don't, I'd have never really put him in a comedian category, but he is an entertainer. Right. Like yeah. he is right. one of those things. So I always had to get Nick his right. on that, on that strength because he he can he shows up and he's like representing in the area and all those things now. Yeah. Uh, so even when he does stand up, I'm always like surprised. Like, oh, yeah, man, it, right. It, 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 I'm okay. When'd you put it together? <laughs> <laughs> when'd you have time? Yeah. To do an hour. Right. Right. So, yes. and, then, uh, and then Bill, I know that Bill's got like, uh, I guess he started that series of, um, uh, he started like a, a cool series of uh, like going out like for the ladies. Ladies night tour. tour. Yeah, yeah. He did all right right there and he did some cool little DVD packages. So mm -hmm. I like the resurgence of Bill Bellamy because he's from my... He like from my era, you know what I'm saying? And then like he was quiet for a while and he was like definitely one of like a funny comedian. Like we used to come up, we used to do this club in Jersey called a Peppermint. It's one of them hood. <laughs> 
hood clubs where you gotta be like you know, grind on, like yeah. be up in there. And Bill used to rock that room like series. He used to host it, so yeah. you know. And then like he, you know, he had a quiet period, and now you know, in the last few years, he's come back. And I think like that is also very important for comedians to know, like you gonna be hot. And then you can get, you can blow, mm -hmm. and then you have to realize that it's still this business where you got to be, be about your business and stay on your grind. And so then you can always come back and come popping yeah. out and be and be on that list. You know, what I'm <laughs> right? It's right. Bill Bell. I mean, I'm probably doing most shit than yeah, all. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. That's my that's my what, that got, was my main. I got like, three damn TV shows. <laughs> you know, you know, that's that's, that's, that's what I'm writing in the comments. Yeah, but that's what that is, you know. What yeah, I mean? yeah, like I, I don't even put myself in that category. Yeah. I already right. look like, right. dude, I'm, yeah, dude, being, that, being that's dead. what they do. Right, right. 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 <laughs> yeah, we like, you know, right. yeah, right. it's like putting Jay Z on the list with some other dude. Right. Right. With, with, yeah. with DJ Waffles, with, with, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's not <laughs> rich homie quad. Rich like, homie, you gotta be like it's hey. just a different thing. It's yeah. not saying but you fuck with rich, you fuck with rich homie quad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
You need to update your phone. Your phone counter is fucked up. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, PJ, we gotta go. Said you gotta go. Okay. We gotta shut him down with the week. Thank hey, you for calling hey, in. Hey, I'm still some music. Don't get mad. We got you, bro. We're going to play it, man. Soon we go on break, man. All right, shut the fuck up. All right, man. Shoot, shoot yeah. to the diamond. All right, I'm sorry. All right, it's diamond of the week. You got to give it uh, one is the weakest, ten is the highest, and you just talk about something of the quality you entertain. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Ok
What? Here we go. That was a okay. good beat. This is our theme song here. Okay. This is our song. All right. Okay. Shut that thing along. Shut the funny up. Hey. Huh. Shut the funny up. Check it. You shut the funny up, huh? You shut the funny up, grab a mic, huh? You shut the funny up, big set, let's go. Shut the funny up, bam. Uh. Two, three, three. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, what are we? What are we? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. On the radio, and I'm about to go. It said he entertained on the B100 show. Yeah. Uh, now shut the funny up. Uh. I'm about to get it done. We get the money up. Right. Uh, uh, it's 2014. Uh, about to be my thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm drinking the water. Uh, I'm about to get your daughter. Uh, uh. Wait a minute, that's my wife calling. Uh. I got to get out, stop bothering her. <laughs> I got, enough, I got some more verses later on. Though, but... <laughs> That's no, a drop. I got, I got some few more. Wait, dude. I got another verse later on. Wait a minute. Uh oh. <laughs> no, I ain't got it. <laughs> <laughs> I do always, man. I usually be killing it, man. You know what? I hurt my hamstring. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Again, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, like that. that was the invite. We got the things coming up. Oh, Jesus. Yes, sir. <laughs> B100 Radio. Shut the funny up. All we'll be right. back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah.